Hi everybody, Liam here at We Buy in Your Motor Caravan. Today we've got a 2020 Swift Contiki Sport 560. It's on the Fiat Ducato, it's a 2.3 litre, 150 brake horsepower. It's got this beautiful black cab continuing the black onto the roof, looks really, really smart. It's a four berth, four belt motorhome. As standard, it's three and a half tonne. So it can be driven on a standard car license, which is great. And it's quite a traditional motorhome layout, but well, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So as we move along the passenger side, you've got your LPG gas locker, you've got a nice awning, it's just over seven meters in length, the motorhome in total, your habitation door, and then it's a French bed layout. So you've got the window at the back above the bedroom and you've got access to the, the garage underneath as well. Let's have a look. So storage wise, there isn't a garage as such in this because you've got the French bed, which is right at the back. Now you can get access to that from underneath, the bed just lifts up on struts, or you can, if you want to, get access from outside. So there's quite a lot of room in there, but I always think it's handy having access from, from outside. If you've got muddy boots, shoes, clothes, kids, anything like that, chuck them all in there, you're fine. So as you can see, this is the Contiki Sport 560. Not a lot to talk about on the back. You've got the two lay rails for a bike rack and you've got the twin reversing camera. Now the twin reversing camera means that it will go into a different angle when you put it into reverse, but it's also a permanent rear facing camera. So it's just like you've got a, a really big rear view mirror really, which is handy when you're doing motorway driving and looking to get back in lane. Let's go and have a look inside, shall we? So we're at the rear of this Swift Contiki Sport 560. So it's a four berth motorhome, the main two berths being this French bed in the corner. Now it's a French bed because you've got the, the rear bed in the corner with the corner cut off. So if anybody ever asks you, is it a French bed layout? That's what it means. It's traditional, as I say, um, but they've been going for years. They will continue to go for years like this. I quite like it. The only thing that some people don't like and would maybe prefer either single beds or an island bed is if you need to get up in the middle of the night, whoever sleeps on that side has to clamber over to get to the toilet. But I say, layouts all come down to personal preference. Um, this would work fine for us. Um, let us know what works for you. So in the other corner, next to the, the French bed, you've got the bathroom and it's actually quite a spacious looking area because you've got the wash basin, you've got your Thetford cassette toilet, but you've also got a full separate shower at the rear. So a couple of the bits to tell you about. Got a storage cupboard there, which has got the table in for the dinette area. You obviously the storage above the French bed in the back corner as well. Wardrobe to my right. And you can see there, this has got the Audi heating system, which personally I think is a lot better than the blown air system. The Audi is like a, a radiator system, so it's basically more of a, a home from home. You've got this stunning, sleek, Dometic fridge freezer, and it's my favorite because you can open it from that way, and you can open it from that way. It's quirky, I love it. And on the other side, we've got the kitchen. And again, you've actually got quite a decent amount of workspace. Um, some of them you really are, the sink cuts in and you haven't got a lot of room to, to maneuver and work. There is a, if I can work it out, a three ring hob with an electric hot plate. You've got your oven and your grill, and you've also got your microwave above as well. So now I'm in the cab. I say it is a Fiat Ducato, it's a 2.3 litre, 150 brake horsepower, and the cab has got everything in you'd expect really. You've got your multifunctional steering wheel so you control your, the phone, the volume, cruise control. It's a six speed manual gearbox. Um, it's got the nice sort of chrome effect as well around the, um, the center unit, which I really like. Cab air conditioning, um, your media center with your phone connectivity. Um, it's also got cab lines all the way around as well. Um, so when you are locking up for the night, you can really kind of close all the all the light out and what I really love is this beautiful kind of arched uh, skylight above the driver's area um, the lighting is quite nice in this motor home actually there's quite a few different spotlights all around but I really like that element for the natural light as well so now we're in the lounge and as I say you can fit two here you've actually got two seat belts um, if you've got a couple of guests you've got another little bench seat on the side there as well 
and you've got the captain seats at the front front two seats which swivel around so you could comfortably sit sort of four to six people um, depending on size and how much you like them I suppose um, but you've got this little half dinette area so there will be a table that comes into here um, and this whole area will convert into another bed so yes it is a four berth four belt personally I think this is a really nice couples van um, if you've got anybody going out for a day trip you've got the extra belts to use at just over seven meters it is quite manageable in and around town um, but it depends if you've got an extra two people sleeping with you if you want the faff of making the bed up every night um, I suppose once you've done it a couple of times you get the knack anyway I've talked enough let me know what you think on this Swift Contiki Sport 560 I really like it I say it is quite traditional um, you see a lot of layouts very similar to this um, but there's a reason why this sort of layout has been going for years and I'm sure will continue for many years to come so hit that like button hit subscribe but more importantly leave some comments below any questions we'd love to hear from you and we'll see you next time thank you very much